Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Star Wars podcast. May the 4th be with you. I'm Melissa, and you know what I'm here to do. We are here to react to what I assume is the final Kenobi trailer. I was not prepared for this trailer to drop this morning. I had just started my morning routine. I had sat down with my cup of coffee. I got started on my work day. And then I get on Twitter for one second and the internet is exploding about the Kenobi trailer. And I was like, crap, I'm in the middle of my work day. Like, I can't stop and watch this. So... I have been waiting for this for like the last four to five hours, so I just want to jump in. But as always, before we do, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell. We want your input on this channel. This is a huge year for Star Wars, and we want to engage with you guys. So drop comments. Let us know what you thought of this first trailer. Run on over and comment on Matt's reaction video. Um, he just posted that. I have no idea what he thinks. I obviously haven't watched it yet because I haven't seen the Kenobi trailer yet and I don't want anything spoiled. But let him know what you think. Drop a comment here. Let me know what you think of the trailer. And yeah, let's just keep this community going. I'm so excited for all the new content to come within this month. I cannot believe we are in Kenobi month and it is here. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the trailer because I don't know how much longer I can contain myself. Oh, would you look at that? Matt just texted me. Oh, I'll have to read it later. I'm busy watching the Kenobi trailer. No. Feels good to be back with reaction videos. We haven't really done these in a while. The channel's been a little bit quiet lately, but it uh, feels good. feels good. feels great. Oh my god. God. I can't get over the duel of the fates. Motif. Stay hidden. survive. Who is he talking to? Owen? Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. <gasps> Don't do that! <gasps> you still want Kenobi. He's gone. Oh my gosh. Oh, it is six parts. Every low life and bounty hunter. Oh, they are sending bounty hunters. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh no, 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 the lightsaber is red. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait a minute. We have to replay this immediately, but I... Ah! <laughs> okay, what? Oh, I want to go through these shots. Wait, we're going to watch it again, you guys. One more time. One more time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to watch it one more time, and then I'll talk about it. Ah, okay. Okay. I can't get over that Duel of the Fates theme. The chills. Okay, there's that planet. Stay Why are his clothes so baggy? <laughs> Oba will not survive. Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. You can't say that. Do you know what that's doing to me? You still want Kenobi. Okay, very He's cool. Gone. Okay, there, there's escape pods. I've been looking in the wrong places. I want every low life and bounty hunter. That was a really good picture of him. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. 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 
I am so hyped for this show. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to definitely watch that trailer like 30 more times today and obsess over it, but I just want to look at some of these shots real quick. I don't want to delve like too deep into anything because obviously I want to break this down with Matt tonight and actually have a discussion with him during our stream. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that because that's going to be very nerdy and a lot of fun. But oh my gosh. Okay, so we have the ship. I might miss some stuff here, guys. So feel free to drop a comment and be like, you missed this in the trailer and then I can freak out some more. Um, okay, we got a ship headed towards a planet. That's probably that new planet that Deborah Chow was talking about. Oh, okay. So we do, yeah, they are going to that little casino night planet that looks very similar to Coruscant, but it's not Coruscant because new planets. Okay, this shot. <laughs> the Inquisitor's clothes look really baggy on him. Is it just me? Because, like, look at his pants. I don't know. What's that actor's name? Is it Rupert Friend who's going to be playing the Grand Inquisitor? I think he'll do a good job. I like his voice. Um, the design of the Grand Inquisitor still irks me a little bit. Um, but if his acting is super good, I think I can get over that. And then we have the fifth brother. And then what sister is uh, Reva? She's like the... She's not, it's not second, not seventh. There's too many of them. I don't know what sister Reva is, but this trailer also gave us a really good look at her. Okay, cool shots. Some shots we've already seen before. Okay, this. This is so interesting to me. This whole exchange is so interesting to me because we never really got to delve into the whole, I don't want to say like Obi-Wan and... um. Owen feud. I, don't, I wouldn't really call it a feud, but Owen has really good reason not to want Obi-Wan near Luke, but it's still very obvious that Obi-Wan's pushing like, hey, yeah, like I, I still want to train him. I still want to do this. So it'll be interesting to see that character dynamic play out in this show. Um, also, very excited to see Joel Edgerton back. He will crush that role. I'm positive. Also, look at this little stance of his. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You guys are going to have to forgive me. Like you trained his father. Ah, oh, why don't you rub the salt in the wound? Give me all of those painful Anakin references. I am so ready for this show. Oh, and then we get a sad glance from Obi-Wan. Really cool look. I'm so excited to see the Empire side of this show uh, with the Inquisitors. Okay, so this girl on the... Um, oh my god, I can't speak. The far left... The one that I initially thought was Adigalia species, I don't think that's what she is. I think she's something else. I'll have to look it up later, but that's a really interesting character design. Very, very cool. And I like the, it'll be cool to see the Empire in this show, just to see how they're functioning and what they're doing and the Inquisitors and their little conference room meetings. Obi-Wan and his EOP. That's interesting. I don't actually know if those are escape pods now. Matt and I will have to talk about that. Not sure if those are escape pods or something else, but uh, again, conversation for tonight. Okay, that's interesting. So it is six parts. So it's like, is each episode going to be an hour? I don't know if they've confirmed that or not, but if each episode's an hour, that's like a six-hour Obi-Wan movie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Love this crisp, clear shot of him wanted by the Empire. If somebody has translated this from Arabish into English, please drop a comment and let me know. I would like to know what that says because I am too lazy to look it up. That's a very clean, sexy shot of Obi-Wan, though. Very appreciated. Oh, my gosh. Oh, is that, is that droid? Let me see. That droid is a bounty hunter. I don't know the name of it specifically, but I do know that droid is a bounty hunter. Ooh, Matt and I have so much to break down. Look at him fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat. We'd love to see it. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is gonna be so flippin' good. Love that. Love that. Look at this hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, sorry, I have to go back a few times. So hand-to-hand -hand combat one. Shot of the Empire. Reva looks really cool. I'm getting very excited about her character. Um, I think she'll play a really interesting foil to Obi-Wan, so I'm excited to see where that goes with her. More hand-to-hand -hand combat. I love that. 
looks like that is a droid from the shot that I initially thought was a clone in the trailer, which is interesting. Reva doing those classic lightsaber flips. Cute little droid. Okay, okay. I, I'll shut up here soon, guys. But this, this, oh my god, you can see the arm that's clearly Anakin's with flesh and then the arm's getting attached on. Oh my god. Like, Vader is going to be unhinged in this show. And then if we get Vader at his prime, his angriest, and then we get, like, parallels of that with, like, Obi-Wan flashing back to, like, him and Anakin and their good old Clone Wars buddy-buddy days, I am so ready for this show. I'm so ready for it. Just give it to me, Lucasfilm. Give me this show. <laughs> it's going to be so good. Oh, my God. Chills. Literal chills. And then the fact that he senses it at the end. He senses Vader's presence. God. Chef's kiss. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up, guys, because I do want to save the in-depth discussion with Matt tonight. So when we do get on that live stream, I will make a post. Please join in. We want to have conversations with you guys. Uh, but in the meantime, we have the final Kenobi trailer. It is May the 4th. We are in Kenobi month. How pumped are you guys? I feel like I'm about to like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's just, it's such a good feeling to be so pumped up about Star Wars. Drop a comment, let me know what you thought of this trailer, and I will see you on our stream tonight. May the force be with you, and happy May the 4th.